going on YouTube, Roxas Theatre today, we are bringing you another Pokemon Sun and Moon LP episode, so we are playing Moon version of course as you guys know, up to this part in, uh, part in time now, um, we're on episode of what now, oh my god my nose is starting to run, mm. don't look at me, I'm not picking my nose, I'm not picking my nose, don't worry, um, I don't know what episode we are, I think we're on episode like 23, I think, I'm not sure, Anyway, we haven't recorded some time because the last recordings we had were like hour long recordings and 30 minutes, 30 minute recordings, which was great and all, but like it was really time consuming to edit everything and I just took a break a little bit from the game itself as well. Um, and my camera is at 20% right now, so hopefully we get through this episode without it petering out and, and dying. But anyway, we're here on Route. Well, we're on Pony Island, first of all, and we're on what? Pony Wild. We're in the Pony Wild right now. We're gonna get into some update and we're gonna head into today's episode. Head out and get somewhere. Alright, so we got Duracell leaving the party at the moment because, honestly, Duracell needs the time to grow with leveling right now. She needs to be level 40 soon, so yeah. She has the moves x Spark, Acrobatics, and Crutch. Holding the Silver Pot to up Bug-type moves. We also have Verano, our two canon, with the moves Drill Pack, Roost, Beak Blast, and Flame Charge. Holding the Sharp Beak to up its Flying-type moves. We also have Zephyr, our Detidui, with the moves Leaf Blade, Sucker Punch, U-Turn, and Spirit Shackle. Detidui is so cool. I forgot how cool he is. Um, holding the Sejuam Z so we can use our signature Z move. Next up we have Huesa, our Marowak, our Alolan Marowak, with the moves Stomping Tantrum, Shadow Ball, Flame Charge, and Thrash. Yes, we did learn Stomping Tantrum off screen. It's a really interesting new move. Uh, don't really know how it would work competitively, but we gotta check it out. And I'm about to sneeze, I feel. But, um, we also are holding the Fire MZ so we can use a Fire Type Z move technique. Next up we have Cestus, our Crab Brawler, with the moves Crab Hammer, Power Up Punch, Dizzy Punch, and Pursuit. I really feel a sneeze coming on. I feel like I'm just gonna blow out all my mucus onto the screen or just everywhere right now. <coughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I felt it. But anyway. Oh, this is a crazy episode already. We're just sneezing everywhere. I'm just like. Anyway, we got, like I said, the moves Grab Ever, Power Punch, Dizzy Punch, and Pursuit. With the moves, uh, that was the moves. I'm out of it. I just sneeze my brains out. I just sneeze my brains. I want to move on. We have Quick Law holding on to Tesla so we can move first sometimes. Last one, at least we have Saladin, our Lycan Rock with the moves Counter, Stone, Stone Edge, Crunch, and Howl. And we have the Rocky MC so we can use our Rock Time Z move. I just, I literally blew my brains out just now with that sneeze. Like, I literally don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I don't even know what I'm recording right now. We battle some of the trainers off screen. Um,. So we're gonna move on. There are fairies over there, but I want to get through this route. Oh, I I, by the way, I love the music on this route too. Trainer tips: You can even do drop off. You can wait. What? You can even drop off Pokemon eggs in the hot springs bats on Poke Palagos. I'll have Avu. I'll have. Oh no! So we encounter our Pokemon underneath the berries. As always, it's a crab brawler. All right, Darcel. We're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run, probably. It's level 43. Can we actually fight this? Let's try acrobatics. Iron defense. Crab brawler gets iron defense. Like I have never actually seen that. I'm also trying the camera in this mode of area now instead of actually being close up on my face. Maybe it was a little too much last episode, and my face couldn't truly fit in the box. For the face cam, rather, I should say. I'm gonna run. Couldn't get away. Payback. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Let us run. I am not doing this right now. I should have never touched that bush. Well, that bush, but the, the berries. Oh, we might as well fight it now, right? Crab hammer. And that was a crit. I mean, that's where we can get a crit. Oh. That not a crit. Alright. We did buy max potions off screen, so we can heal up. Oh my god, man, this is how my episode starts. I actually wanted to get to the next part of the, the island, at least, to walk around and see what's going on. The last few episodes have been insane, as you guys know. Oh, heck no, he's a plus four defense. I'm out of here. We're running. Can a box actually run? Oh, yep, it can. There's a run. Just like that away. 
My neck is stiff. I'm not clicking those berries because if I do, it'll start another fight. Get the crab brawler, so. Oh well. He turned around to see me. Let's have a quick battle while gathering berries together with our Pokemon. No thanks. I didn't even know it was our trainer over gonna be over here. Wow. Cook what? Cook Phil. Sent out Parasect. Oh my goodness. Alright, Darcel, let's do this. I've also been playing um some Final Fantasy 15 off off um on my off time when I'm not um doing my LP. What? Spark? I thought said Spark was super effective. I was gonna say that is not true. I've also been playing a lot of Overwatch too, like you know, doing competitive in Overwatch. Because I've been getting crazy this year. Well, not this year, because this year I think Overwatch came out. It's just been this whole year Overwatch has been out only one year. I was getting crazy this season, I should say. Season three is nothing to play around with. But anyway, we're gonna exit through this Parasect and knock it out. Oh my god. Okay, at least we get a level up. That's why I, that's why you're in the front right now, Duracell, so you can gain some levels. Alright, because apparently Rebombi. Rebombi. Okay. Well apparently um Duracell will evolve on in, in the pony pony can canyon? I think it's called Pony Canyon. Yeah, so I'm just hoping to get into the Pony Canyon soon and then just level up as fast as possible so we can get our um, Vickable. Because we've been waiting all L this whole LP to get our Vickable to no avail. So that is gonna hurt because we are not especially offensive. But hopefully, this knocks out Rebound B. That is not gonna knock it out. Can I go for Acrobatics and you don't go for. Thank you. I'm like, you shouldn't go for Bug Buzz. Even though you should. Theoretically. Alright. Down goes for Bombi, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that, we're gonna be able to move on. Get another boost. Yes. Another thing, I think I should put on the EXP share because uh, if the Pokemon League is tough, we'd want to get all our Pokemon leveled up. But uh, off screen, I don't level them up just in case they might they might have a chance to evolve. I want to keep the evolutions on screen as much as possible because most of our Pokemon have evolved off screen. Like Marowak wasn't that big of a deal to me evolving off screen. I really want to my little Marowak too. What is this? That's awesome. Ancient Pony Path. Whoa. Neat. It's good to see you again, too, Mudsdale. It looks to be in fine form. Uh, wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. It seems like a hard path to walk, and even so, you don't let yourself be held back by the fear of seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt. You just keep striving forward together. Oh, been a while, Roxas. And you brought Lily along, too. Yes, it's good to see you, Hapu. You look different. Like you're ready to go all out in all but all out in something now. Thank you, Hapu. I've finally discovered what I need to do. So this is my Z-powered form. Oh, then do your best, Lily. No one could call you Lily Livered. I guess. <laughs> um. So, Hapu, do you know where we can find the Kahuna? The Kahuna? Hmm, don't have one on here, here on Pony. What? Now what do we do, Roxas? Hmm, well I suppose the time might be right now. I I already finished up my battle against that odd little thing that appeared out of the sky. Alright, let us proceed with to the ruins. You stick with me, you two. Yee! That's Mudsdale. Yo, I see a Zygarde core there. Is that guy trading on Machamp? Roxas, we just have to keep going, right? But then again, you are a trainer, aren't you? I suppose you always keep moving forward. Wait there. Who's that? Ew! I'm sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Oh, 
ho, ho, ho. Oh, well, I'll be. I'm Hapu's old grand. Are you two friends with my girl? Uh, yeah? Wait, Hapu's young? Hapu looks old. I didn't know Hapu was young. What the heck? Hapu looks like a little old girl to me. A little, like a little granny. What the? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So she has friends now. Now I'll tell you what, I'm traveling all around the islands making new friends. You kids are luckier than you'll know. If you want to head for the Pony Island ruins, how about a bit of help with this old grand? Here, hand over your ride page a moment. For what? We already have months though. Did she just give it to my champ? Chill? What the <laughs> Wait! Why is Matemp a ride Pokemon? Yo, this is ridiculous. What? <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, that's kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually pretty dope. Yo, Torterra was a ride Pokemon? I'd flip. Oh my god. In the pseudo region, that should be a ride Pokemon. I know Mammoth's fine to be a ride Pokemon. Technically, it already is in the uh, Kalos region. You don't need to move. You'll need to move some big off obstacle obstacles obstacles to make it down the path that you two hope to travel. I wish you both a bright future. Ta ta for now, y'all. Oh, hold on. My Hapu is heading for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First, you'll come to Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know about the soil; it's black as pitch. Go through there, and you'll find the ruins. Thank you. Oh wait. Thank you very much, ma'am. You have been a great help. I'll be children, have a good time, have fun. The ruins of hope. This is where, that is where the Guardian of Pony Island will be. That is where Tapu Fini lives. Let's go. Yo, I'm mad that my champ. The ruins of hope are past Pony Breaker Ghost. Let's hope they're cheerier than they sound. What's wild is that Machamp is a right Pokemon. We just got another Zygarde, uh, core. I'm just really mad that Zygarde, not Zygarde, that Machamp is actually a right Pokemon. That's like the one of the best things in the game. It's dope. Oh, we found a Shiny Stone. We trying to get some Togekiss action up in here. Yo, we trying to get some Tony, to 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 Togi, Togi, Togi Kiss, Togi Kiss. All right, so there's another Zygarde core in there. Can we not go through there? Oh. That's a house. Holy cow. I would love to explore it more, but... I've been dying to explore this island. But I still have another Zygarde for you. Suck it up, suck it up, suck it up. Get in the queue. Yeah, I kind of want to try this Machamp. That's all the right Pokemon we're getting now. Yo! This is wild! What the hell? Look at Machamp! What does it do? Oh, oh, um... It looks like he's teabagging with me in his hands. I'm mad we get carried like this, though. It's like he's marrying me or something. What the hell? This is really good in this game. So he uses two arms to hold me like that, and the other two to do what? Push things? Dude, that's wild. The champ is a super power Pokemon, after all. Yo, I love the schematics of this place. Pony Island is so dope, yo. Love it. Yo, look at my champ run! He just runs through the grass. <gasps> Gastrodon right here! Oh, my little brethren! I gotta, I'm coming back here all screen to catch a Gastrodon. And this looks like a, um... Are you West Form? I wanna say you're the West Form of Gastrodon. Or maybe they're version exclusive now due to Sun and Moon. So maybe the other one in um, Sun, there's a pink version. I... I like both versions, but I, I don't know. I want to use that one more, the color I just saw. Hopefully they're both there, but they shouldn't both be here. This, this is like technically like what, the uh... I want to say this is the West Coast. That was West Coast form Gastronon. Was Gastronon a rare encounter or something? Because I didn't find a Shellos. I found a Gastronon. Is that like a rare encounter? I feel like that was a rare encounter. I, I'm starting to feel that way. Yo, that was probably a rare encounter. Bass Pony Canyon. Oh! I'm I'm sorry, I gotta go up here first. Wait. Please let me go. 
You wanna go into Bass County? Can you need permission for the Kahuna? They just said there's no Kahuna of this island. Excuse me? You excuse me? They just now said I have to get there. I'm getting there in today's episode. I want to evolve my my um. You've got to be kidding me. Rare trainer discovered. I must make. I must make contact immediately. What's annoying is that I can't get to Pony Canyon, and that's the only place I need. I need to get there so I can evolve my Vickable. My well, my Charger book to Vickable. It's right there. Terminator. Yo, there it is. That looks so dope. Yo, it's huge from this perspective. Um, I'm gonna switch because this can actually body me. What are you? Fire dragon? Fire dragon, I think, right? Fire dragon. Uh. So, yeah. I think I should be okay with, uh, Saladin coming in. I'm just so mad that it's right there. Pony Canyon is right there. Like, out of all places. It's right there, and I can't go through it. Stone Edge. You're fire dragon type, from what I remember. Oh, you avoided it. Flamethrower. Oh lordy. Saladin? One shot? I should have went for a Z move. Oh, you're gonna get wrecked. Oh my lord. Do I still take damage from that ability it has? No, I do not. There goes my Z crystal going off. Okay. You were level 45. Rock climb. A normal type move, sir. Interesting. Normally I would say yes, but I'm gonna say no. Keep on moves. Alright, so... We're on over to level 43. This is why I want to keep the... Drompa! We're seeing two dragon types that we've never seen in this game yet. Nice. Um... Salad to stay in, I guess. Yo, look at Drompa! Oh my god, it's huge. This thing looks bulky. Let's go for... I guess Continental Crush. Will my Z-Ring pick it up? It should, right? Hey, hey, hey! That's dope. He just goes. Boom. Yo, I gotta make a compilation of all the Z moves IRL. Continental Crush. Let's see how much it does. Yo, Madara right there. Oh, that wrecked. Get yeah, Bob. Alright, down goes Jampa. Wait, so is gonna go to level 44, which is really good. Duracell also levels up. I'm so mad that it's that fast Pony Canyon is just right there, the Pony Canyon. Alright. Hop off Tauros real quick. Is that like... What's up here? Pony Grove. Sir, you can go to on through here when you're a champion, that is. Yo, guys, we're close to the end of the game. You just talked about being a champion, you know you're at the end. You know you're at the end when you did start talking about post-game stuff. Yo, not even one step. Actually, one step. One literal step. Pelipper. Pelipper is broken in this game. Nice and getting the ability drizzle. There it, go there it goes. I caught one already. But I wonder how this, how this will change um, battling now. Pokemon, certain Pokemon having different um, abilities now. Or better abilities. So maybe there'll be more uh, uses for them now. Who knows, who knows? But all I know is I wanna get down here. I don't think we're gonna be able to Can I get that? What? So we gotta go down? Oh my lord. Pony Breaker Coast. Nice name. Oh Swerve! Hey. Frost breath, yo. That's kinda lit. 
I might want to spray some repels here. Only for the sake of not nah, bobbing contending right now, because I'm going to save time. I want to see what's ahead of us. Like, ugh. Um, any repels? Super repels. There we go. Yeah, I bought some. Alright, so we'll get through this. Gotta watch out for this lady over here. Ha! I'll fight you another time. Look at this ring. Or is that a geyser? Zygarde cube, boy. That Zygarde cube is getting filled. What is... What is this? Oh, Stewards of Hope. I love the music here. Yo, we found a lot of Zygarde course today. The Ruins of Hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But, but if we go in there, maybe Nebby will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of the ruins, these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. You think that'll work? Oh, honestly, Roxas. I'm going to make sure that Nebby gets right back to normal just to show you. So just you wait, Nebby. This time I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Roxas, let's go. Looks like they don't like when you say negative things, but that wasn't really negative. I'm just saying, are you sure it'll work? Do you think that'll work for it? Then we go to the ruins. Hope are they are they hopefully hopeful ruins? What the Alright. Looks like this is a job for my champ. If we're going to break a bat, we'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Habu's grandmother said, didn't she? Ah! Uh. No, she's trying to push it. I don't think I can do this. It, it's heavier than words can express. We'll have to borrow my champ's formidable strength for this task. I read about it once in a book, if I remember right. It said, when getting a ride from a powerful ma champ, trainers can activate ma champ's shove by standing before a rock and pressing B. And if we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. I mean, we got all the, perspe the perspective we need here. Look at how he posed. I'm sorry, I need this music on while I do this, because... Yeah. Oh, you just keep pushing. I don't think there's any Pokemon in here, like wild ones. Okay, so we have to push straight ahead. Okay. Nice. And with that, we should be able to push that down the hole. And then with that, we should be able to walk across. Nice time problem solving. There's like a little mini Legend of Zelda puzzle right here. And when you push that down, it would usually go... Uh, -da 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 -da. but you know, it's not gonna do that. Not Zelda, but yeah. All right. Oh, hop. Then how did Hapu get in here? What the heck? Is the Guardian Deity really in here, though? I read about them, you know. All the sacred ruins and the Guardian Deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The books say that they are well capricious. C encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebi. Oh, there's Hapu! What's Hapu doing? Oh, she's getting a Z-Rain. Sparkling stone that can be made into a Z-Rain. I give the thanks. 
me your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. And the Pokemon of Alola. <laughs> She's young. I'm looking at it now. She's actually really young. I gave her our old granny voice. And what? Oh, so what you two are watching? <laughs> She's a Kahuna now. The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon you worship here in Alola. Our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island. Each guardian watches over. Uh, Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, eh, Roxas? You came all to Alola from far off. You must really be something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the top, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for this honor. The honor of being our island kahuna, but he died suddenly some years back. We were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the top back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, traveling alone and go, trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Uh, of course! Then please hop kahuna hapu. Tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to so you wanted to know about Lunala, who we pay tribute to at the altar of the moon. My mother wait, my mother disappeared into the beast's world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she is still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. The world of the beast day. Eh? Is that what the thing, is that the thing, is that what that thing was that came to Pony Island, a beast? Tabu Fini and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. Alright, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But, but what I know is not much, just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. The altar? <laughs> a ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the sun flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be fine. The fine flute that used to reside in Lake Alu'ula'ula to the other islands held on the Executa Island. I don't know why they are all places, but if it has been passed down, that is where it belongs. Executa Island. I think I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't that right? Yes, and no reason to dally here. Let us go and speak with the Sea Folk Chief. Lily, you take months there. We proceed to Seafolk Village. Oh, interesting. Don't want to have to leave us in the dust back to Seafolk Village on the double. Alright, so it looks like there's something going down now. We are going back to the Seafolk Village. And apparently, it seems like we have a new Kahuna on the Pony Island. It was a duck. She was inducted right in front of us. But anyway, we're going to wrap up today's episode right here. I think it's a good place to wrap it up. So we're gonna save right now. And with that, we're gonna end today's video. But thank you guys so much for watching today. So my question is like, I don't like button, like it, friend, and break it, destroy it, do whatever you want with it. Just don't hit the dislike button or make it really sad if you do. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, as I said before, my question is like, I like button. Also, if you have any friends that like Pokemon content or anything in dealing with Pokemon, obviously, uh, share this video with them and tell them to check my channel out and subscribe if they enjoy the content I'm providing. Also, answer the question of the day in the section down below. But with that, I'm gonna take my leave. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel today and watching this episode. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. You guys just take like, time, the time out of your day just to sit down and watch an episode or two, you know? Thank you guys so much for that. But with that, I'm gonna get out of here. Bye!